This creepypasta is based on an urban legend that predates the internet. Even today, there are still those who insist that the story of the statue is based on an actual crime, but there's no evidence of such an incident ever occurring. It's rumored to have occurred in the late 1980s when the parents of two young children were hoping to find time for a much needed date night. Luckily, their dependable babysitter was available that Friday, so they made their plans accordingly. When the teenage sitter arrived at 7 p.m. on Friday, the kids, a boy of six and his four-year-old sister, were already tired out from playing outside all evening, and she was able to tuck them into bed shortly after their parents left. She had barely finished reading them a bedtime story before they were both fast asleep. It was roughly 7.40 p.m. Just before 9 p.m., after checking on the children, who were still fast asleep, the sitter decided she wanted to watch a movie that was scheduled to air on HBO, but then remembered that the downstairs TV set did not have premium channels. Only the set in the parents' room was set up with HBO so that the kids wouldn't be exposed to R-rated movies. The sitter called the kids' father to ask permission to watch TV in their room, and while she had them on the line, she asked if it would be possible for her to cover up the statue that was mounted just outside their bedroom window. It was just a common baby-faced cherub figure with tiny angel wings, much like the life-size plaster or concrete yard statues usually sold in home and garden stores. But there was something about the way the moonlight illuminated the angel's face that seriously creeped her out. There was an uncomfortable silence on the other end of the line, followed by a panicked response. Take the children and get out of the house right now, the father said, trying to keep his voice as calm as possible. We'll call the police. Why, said the sitter, her heart suddenly racing. What's wrong? The father's voice began to waver with fear. We don't own an angel statue. The police arrived at the scene at 9.10 p.m., less than 15 minutes after the father hung up the phone and found the teenager and both young children already dead. The bodies had been horribly mutilated and several walls of the house had been crudely painted in their blood. The forensics team was able to discern a couple of smudged handprints among the blood smears, tiny handprints, like those of a baby. The police never found any trace of a statue, and the case remains unsolved.